What up Desert Tread Nation, welcome back. This is the only source for Desert Tread content. So make sure you subscribe to this new channel. My old channel, it got deleted at 13 followers uh, because I used my high school email and they deleted that a little while back. So from now on, this is the only source of Desert Tread content. So I'm trying to grow this back up and use your help. So today we are going to build the Laro A60 Smith and Squat machine you see behind me. Comes with a Olympic bar and it's got a Smith bar and it has two of these weight stacks for the cables on each side. You can raise and lower that. And we got the pull-up bars. So this particular build took me a while because my first time building it and my instruction manual had an error so yeah i'm just gonna be taking you guys through this so stay tuned all right so these are the boxes came with it i got some more outside there okay so i believe we start out by opening up box four got a whole bunch of screws Okay, we got these for um okay guys open box four this is what we're left with let's check this out first page we want to do something like that okay i did a little unboxing and we're left with these parts some of the screws are here hopefully they're all here i had to bust out my ruler and measure them okay so after seeing all the parts i began to build the machine. Okay, so so far, I would say we're about a quarter of the way done. Okay, so I began to continue building. Um, as you can see, I had the help of my mother. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, this being a two person job, at least for the parts where um, you gotta hold up the bars so they don't fall over, um, cause it almost broke my window there. Unfortunately, the instruction manual that came with my set was missing page three. It looked like there was a printing error. So it took me a while to figure out what to do. And this particular build took me a very long time because of that. As I ended up having to redo some of the parts. So just the time of having to do those parts again made it take really long. I then set up the smith part. The smith bar is kind of hard because the bars on the side are really heavy and it's hard to get those in position and screw them in. Alright, so there you have it folks. That was the build of the Laro A60 Smith Machine Squat Rack. Um, overall, it was a good build. I think it went well and the machine looks pretty sturdy and I think it'll be able to handle all the weight I lift on it. Okay, so I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes, and I will be releasing a new video about just reviewing it, doing a holistic, complete review of the machine, and seeing if it's able to actually support all the weight I plan on lifting with it. So, peace out.